for other people named James Brooke, C. James Brooke, Sir James Brooke, Roger of Sarawak, KCB, was a British adventurer whose exploits in the Malay archipelago made him the first white Roger of Sarawak. Born in India and briefly educated in England, he served in the Bengal army, was wounded, and resigned his commission. He bought a ship and sailed out to the Malay archipelago, where by helping to crush rebellion, he became governor of Sarawak. He then vigorously suppressed piracy in the region, and in the ensuing turmoil, restored the Sultan of Brunei to his throne, for which the Sultan made Brook the Raja of Sarawak. He ruled until his death. Brook was criticized, and officially investigated for his anti-piracy measures. He was, however, honored in London for his work. Among his achievements, was to attract the naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace to the archipelago, leading to Wallace's eight-year expedition there, and ultimately to his book The Malay Archipelago. Brooke was born in Bandal, near Calcutta, Bengal, but was baptized in Sekrol, a suburb of Benes. His father, Thomas Brooke, was an English judge court of appeal at Bareilly, British India. His mother, Anna Maria, born in Hertfordshire, was the daughter of Scottish peer Colonel William Stuart, 9th Lord Plantier, and his mistress Harriet Easdale. Brooke stayed at home in India until he was sent, aged 12, to England and a brief education at Norwich School from which he ran away. Some home tutoring followed in Bath, before he returned to India in 1819 as an ensign in the Bengal Army of the British East India Company. He saw action in Assam during the First Anglo-Burmese War until seriously wounded in 1825, and sent to England for recovery. In 1830, he arrived back in Madras, but was too late to rejoin his unit, and resigned his commission. He remained in the ship he had travelled out in, the Castle Huntley, and returned home via China. Brooke attempted to trade in the Far East, but was not successful. In 1833 he inherited a circumflex £30,000, which he used as capital to purchase a 142-ton schooner, Royalist. Setting sail for Borneo in 1838, he arrived in Kuching in August, to find the settlement facing an uprising against the Sultan of Brunei. Greatly impressed with the Malay archipelago, in Sarawak he met the Sultan's uncle, Pandra Mudahashim to whom he gave assistance in crushing the rebellion, thereby winning the gratitude of the Sultan, who in 1841 offered Brooke the governorship of Sarawak in return for his help. Raja Brooke was highly successful in suppressing the widespread piracy of the region. However, some Malay nobles in Brunei, unhappy over Brooke's measures against piracy, arranged for the murder of Mudahashim and his followers. Brooke, with assistance from a unit of Britain's China Squadron, took over Brunei, and restored its sultan to the throne. In 1846 Brooke, presented the island of Labuan to the British government. He was appointed governor and commander-in-chief of Labuan. In 1842 Sultan Omar Ali Safadian to ceded complete sovereignty of Sarawak to Brooke. He was granted the title of Raja of Sarawak on 24 September 1841 although the official declaration was not made until 18 August 1842. During his reign, Brooke began to establish and cement his rule over Sarawak, reforming the administration, codifying laws and fighting piracy, which proved to be an ongoing issue throughout his rule. Brooke returned temporarily to England in 1847, where he was given the freedom of the City of London appointed British Consul General in Borneo, and was created a Knight Commander of the Order of the Bath. Brooke became the centre of controversy in 1851, when accusations against him of excessive use of force against natives, under the guise of anti-piracy operations, ultimately led to the appointment of a Commission of Inquiry in Singapore in 1854. After investigation, the Commission dismissed the charges, but the accusations continued to haunt him.